Come hither. If thou be a spalion, wish me. The lieutenant tonight watches on the court of guard. <laughs> First, I must tell thee this. Desdemona is directly in love with him. With him? What? It's not possible. Mark me with what violence she first loved the more. But for bragging and telling her fantastical lies. And will she love him still for prating? <laughs> Let not the discreet heart think it. Her eye must be fair. And what to my judge you have to the game of death? When the blood is made dull with the act of sport, there should be again to relieve it and to give satiety a fresh appetite. Lovely disfavor, sympathy in years, manners, and beauties, all which in the more is effective in. Now, for want of these acquired conveniences, her delicate tenderness will find itself abused, begin to heave the gorge, disrelish into the lure the more. Very nature will instruct her to it and compel her to some second choice. Now, sir, this right, who stands so imminent in the degree of misfortune as Cassio does? A nay, very valuable. No further conscionable than in putting on the mere form of his civil and humane seeming for the better compass of his salt and most hidden loose affection. <laughs> a subtle, slippery knave, a finder of occasion that as an eye can stand by the counterfeit advantage, though true advantage never present itself. Besides, the knave is handsome, young, and that all those requisites in him that quality and great minds look after, a pestily complete knave. And the lady hath told him already. I cannot believe that in her. She's full of most blessed condition. Blessed be saying. The wine she drinks is made of grapes. If she had been blessed, she would never have loved the more. Blessed put it. Didst thou not see her paddle with the palm of his hand? <laughs> Didst thou mark that? And I did. That was but courtesy. Oh, oh, oh. lecturing by this hand, an index in obscure prologue to the history of lost and foul thoughts. They met so near with their lips that their breaths embraced together. Then like a thought, Rodrigo, from these mutualities so martial the way, that hand becomes the master and main exercise, the incorporate conclusion. Pish! But, uh, be ruled by me. I have brought you from base. Watch you tonight. For the command I lay it upon you, for Cassio knows you not, I'll not be far from you. Do you find some occasion to anger Cassio? Either by uh, taunting his discipline or speaking too loud, or from what other means you please, which the time shall more easily acquire, no? Huh? Sir, it rash, very sudden in color, and happily with his truncheon may strike at you, provoke him that he may, for even out of that will I cause these of Cyprus to mutiny. So shall you have a shorter journey to your desires by the displaying of Cassio, and I shall have the means to acquire them. <laughs> I will do this, uh, if you can bring it to any opportunity. Uh, I warrant thee. Meet me by and by at the citadel. I must make it for Cesare's assure. Farewell. Adieu. That Cassio loves her, I do well. Believe it? That she loves him, mm, tis apt and of great credit. The more, how be it, I endure him not, is of a constant loving, noble nature. And I dare swear he'll prove <coughs> against the moan of a most dear husband. Now, I do love her too. Not out of absolute lust, but partly led to diet my revenge. 
for that I do suspect the lusty moor hath leaped into my sheep. The thought whereof doth like a poisonous mineral gnaw my inwards, and nothing can or shall content my soul till I am even with him wife for wife. Play the face is never seen till you 